Hello, my name is Lisbeth from Cisco SD1 Tag Team. In this video, you'll learn how to configure route leaking in SD1. In this topology, I have configured two routers in different VPNs. The service side of router A has VPN 100 and IP address 192.168.60.20, and router B has VPN 150 and IP address 192.168.30.10 then configure. By default, the IP reachability between different VPNs is not allowed. This information can be verified logging in both routers. Run the command show as the one OMP routes VPN 100 and ping the IP address 192.168.30.10. As you can see, router A only has one route learned and trying to reach the IP address is unreachable. From router B, the router only has one route learned and trying to reach the IP address 192.168.60.20 from VPN 150, also it's unreachable. To configure route leaking, login into your vManage GUI, navigate to vManage, configuration, policies, and click add policy. In Create Group of Interest, select VPN, click New VPN List, and add the VPN 100 and VPN 150. Go to Site and create a new site list. Router A is in Site 19 and Router B is in Site 30. And click Next. Add topology, choose Control Custom, select Sequence Type, and click Route. Select Sequence Rule, choose VPN Option. In VPN List, add VPN 100. In Actions, change to Accept. And export to VPN 150. Repeat the procedure and go to VPN. In VPN list, add VPN 150. Action Accept. And export to VPN 100. In the full actions, go to Edit. Accept. Save Match and Actions and Save Control Policy. Click Next, Next, add the policy name and policy description. In New Site List, add Site Router A and Site Router B, click Add and Save Policy. To enable the centralized policy, go to Three Dots and click Activate. A success screen status shown in vManage once the policy has been activated. Now we can go to verify in both routers. Initially, when we run the command show as even VPN routes VPN 100, the IP address from router B was not learned. But now the router B is reachable from VPN 100. In router B, we can see the router learned from OMP routes and the IP address of router A is reachable from VPN 150. Thank you for the time you took to watch this video.